Welcome back to First Look Asia on this Tuesday morning. Now, Ben and I like to go out and film a TV feature together. The last time was the health screening we both did. Mm -hmm. This time around, we decided to go dancing, ballroom dancing to be precise. Ballroom dancing is enjoyed by millions around the world. Ballroom dancing is a fairly broad term. It incorporates a whole bunch of dances, including the Mon Walls. The Viennese Wall. Tango. Foxtrot. Quickset. Cha-cha-cha. Samba. Rumba. Paso Doble. And Jive. Well, enough talking. It's time to get some dancing organized. Or as they say, cut her up. <laughs> Let's go and meet our dance partners. So waltz is a swing dance. It's like flying. Mm. It means you take the step. I show you one, two. One, two. Very nice. One, it's very light two. feeling, right? It is, yeah. It's, it's like you one. Now we can turn a little bit <laughs> and go back and change. Yes. Well done. You're doing very well. <laughs> Mikhail Yeremev, Teresa's teacher, has been dancing since he was seven years old. It's so much a part of him that even his wife, Alessia, is his dance partner. First of all, for me, it's, uh, it's my lifestyle. I really love to spend a quality time together with my wife uh, because we, we're enjoying dancing and we're dancing more than 10 years together and, and I like to, you know, to inspire people. Ballroom dancing is so beautiful, it's so expressive. Be honest, how did I do? You did a very good job. I like the way you feel the way to, yeah, you feel the music. I was feeling the music. Yes. Yes. So I'm the Teresa, uh, she, I mean, she's feel the music very well, uh, and once she starts to relax, she starts to enjoy it. Lance, I've been waiting so long for this day, and it's over, and it was just as wonderful as I thought it would be. It's I, such a great experience. It's a fantastic experience. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I enjoyed it on the social level because I made a whole bunch of new friends. Mm -hmm. I also enjoyed it as a sport because it's, it's quite a workout too. Yes, you had quite the moves. I think <laughs> we did okay, but we should leave it to the professionals. Absolutely. We've got Mikhail and Olesia to take us through the waltz. Enjoy it. They're so elegant, they Mikhail are. and Olesia. Hello, good evening. Good morning, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. So let's check some microphone uh, whether you can hear us, where you can see us, and whether the sound is really good. So we want to deliver the best quality in everything in our knowledge, in our sound, in everything. This now was a little interruption. It was uh, suddenly broadcasting stuff, I don't know why. But now we are back to the track and we are so happy to be here with you. And today, it's something exciting is coming because we will talk about a thing which is very, very important. And at the same time, it's created beauty it's created unbelievable energy, it's created uh, drive, it's created expression. And most of the important thing, without this we can't even borrow, because it's all about connection. Okay? But so before let's it, let's wait for comments, guys. Before How you can hear us, us, yes? For your comments uh, about the sound, okay. Hey, hello, Michelle. <laughs> hello, hello, USA. 
Good morning to you. I know it's morning in New Zealand. now. Yes, Andrea. Hello. All right. So, just a few more comments. Uh, yes. All right. Before uh, we will start, while we're waiting uh, for your comments, let me tell you a quick story. Uh, the, uh, it's very well connecting to the topic which we're going to talk with you. And it's all about uh, the way you can learn and why now is the greatest opportunity of all time to learn it. Because based on our experience for the past three and a half months of teaching Zoom, and we have unbelievable growth for all of our students. And we're just really so excited. And it's, it's because it really works for especially when you're practicing without a partner. And then we'll connect to the connection. Okay, we have a comment about your mic. It's Mikhail, a bit soft. your mic is a bit <laughs> soft, okay. All right, is it better? I just trying to... Adjust a little bit. One, two, adjust. I just don't want to scream. <laughs> <laughs> Lumin, can you just... Um, yeah, I think you can, you can just double check, please, uh, Alicia, uh, yes. All right, just, just a few more seconds so we can really go... Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, Russia. Hello, Singapore. Hello. All right. Uh, Alice, uh, what do you think? Can you hear it? It's, it's now supposed to be okay. Okay. All right, good. So, um, I remember when I was a kid, it's about maybe eight or, or nine years old. And I remember we went to the place, it's called like Dan Shop, where you can get some kind of, you know, like everything from a shoes, from uh, dance clothes to the magazine articles and so on. And I remember I came a, um, across to the videotape. Uh, last time it was v VHS videotape. And I can't forget that because it was the most expensive thing there. But uh, it's once we get that, and, and I, I came home, I put inside of the VHS as a player, and I remember the thing is, I was alone at home, my partner was not there, and then I watching that video, and then I just tried to replicate. Yeah, they have a Latin, they have a ballroom with a connection, but you know, it was very, very difficult to uh, really, for me, uh, to copy from a TV, and I, um, I'm, I try to go this way, I try to go that way, and at the end, I just like a copy and I try to go in a mirror action. And of course, this is what gave me a big confidence while I start to practice myself. It start, even I, I don't understand what are you doing and how it works. It's really made me feel like, wow, it's actually, I can copy and it was world champion there. It was two world champions, one in Borom and one in Latin, and I feel so connecting. Wow, in TV, the world champions, and then I just copy Jive, I, I copy Walls, I learn all the steps, I go to my class, and I say, look at me, how good I am. And everyone say, Mikhail, well done. Uh, this is uh, when you start, and it doesn't matter, I start, and I don't know what I'm doing. So... And when I start to move around, I actually, I just, because it feels good, and it looks good, and I don't feel like negative comment. And the reason why I tell you this story, because connection, it's very important how we create connection together as a couple, and whether it's in the hands or whether it's here, it's very important how we know how we can create without each other. Because we need to find some leverage without each other first so we will learn faster. And the reason I tell you this story, this, this has really helped me by looking in a video, even if I don't know how it works, it feels like so good and it gives me a very big confidence. So I practicing at home, I feel so nice. And this is why it's a great opportunity now at home, even if you don't have with a partner, today we're gonna show you tools, tricks, and some inside secrets how you can practice your connection without any partner. 
And it's very important the way once we create it from beginning and we understand the reason behind that connection. We will start to create couple which will be very good looking because connection helping us to create a space. Connection helping us to create a drive because we're creating power from a center. So it's like our engine. And then, of course, we create a couple so beautiful like like all the top couples looks like okay so number one thing let me show you the slide what is the plan for today and and if you have some question please let's keep engagement because once you answer the question we by replying to a question or by answering your question many people learning and we're here for you to deliver during this situation the best information which we know and if you have anything to ask we're here for you we do believe with Alessia that uh, quality of relationship is quality of life and we want to to share with you and connect I'm so glad that now we have a students from from different countries and we have uh, for webinars joining from USA, from, uh, from Australia, from Russia, from Jakarta, from Jakarta, from around Asia. And it's so uniting, it's so incredible. Okay, so let's have a look slide. Let's see what we're going to do today. Yes, uh, so now um, how to create couple connection right from beginning without questioning of being right is this is one of being a very important thing because being right it's a very stressful but at the same time is it, we need to know why we feel stress without pushing and pulling each other this is the main thing uh, we will go through the each step why we experience that difficulty in the first place and then we go to the solutions okay then we will talk about connection in dance what type of connection we have what what is this and uh can we replicate connection not using each other bodies let's say what we can use what types of the like a gym in gym we can use equipment so what we can use today in order to practice without any partner then different types of a connection it's we have a connection um we can in the hand we have a connection in in the eye connection we have a connection in our right side oh, so many connection michael stop it stop it yes it yes, is and we have also different heights of relationship between yes. partners and we can use different types of connection as well yes that's right and i can use for example connection by pulling my head weight i can use it to produce energy to your beautiful head and boom it can be emotional connection it can be artistic connection together yes it's not all about right side to right side and then stick <laughs> it's different kind of connection meld together which is creating piece of art which is called art of dance all right and um points of connection yes be, what does it mean? We can have hip connection, we can have ha hands, and what points... We usually connect. Yes, it's usually connect. And, and what each connection responsible for? This is number one thing which I'm really excited to share with you because I didn't know about it many for many years, I would say more than 10 years. And the point which I share with you, each point of the connection responsible for action which can be completely different. Yes? So I'm very, very excited for <laughs> yes, you. Yes, guys, right? it's really, really important topic and it's very big topic uh, for our like dance career, for all dancers around the world who is dancing competitively, who is dancing socially, for fun, for enjoyment. The connection is really, really important. And let's go slowly and step by step to know about connection more yes i want to take dancing in general because if we can understand what is the dancing and what is the connection we can really un uh, understand so how it works and and what happening let's take latin borrow social american smooth and rhythm 
and and there is like uh, maybe like some kind of like hip hop and other dancing. We have first of all we have a connection as a person. As a person, I have a connection uh, with the music, with the floor, and with my body. Yes, so I'm moving my body. I also have connection with the floor, with her own self, and with the music. Um, I remember one of the greatest coaches told me, Mikhail, you always have a three important thing. Yourself, music, floor. It's, a, it's number one. Then we go, we have a three connections, and I also have a three connection. We go into our hand connection. Yes? Uh, let's take Latin. Uh, Latin as example, Latin and Borum, they are all like, uh, uh, Latin is similar with all social dancing as well, and Borum similar with, uh, because American smooth you dancing also with, uh, with connection sometimes. So we will take Latin and Borum as the two uh, opposite example. In the Latin, we have a connection. We have a connection where I have my own center. Remember, my first reconnection, I have my own center, she has her own center, which is called body. Yes? I have connection with the music, she has connection with the music. We have a connection with the floor, she has a connection with the floor. Now, with two body, three connections, she has three connections, I have, we have creating our first, our first connection between each other. Where we have connection in the hands. It can be Roomba, it can be really, you see, we change connection to the one hand, to another hand. It can be any social like salsa. We have a connection with the hands. Yes. And whoop. We have connection with the hands. And my signal to her goes from my hand to her hand. She is responding and this is where she is making a turn. Okay. Now let's go back. This is part number one. Part number two, borrow. I have my connection three with the music, with me as a body, and with the floor. One, two, three. Yeah, at least I have three. Then, what is make ballroom special? That from a two bodies, from a two bodies, we creating one body. This is. I, if I knew it from my from very beginning, because many teachers say connection, connection, and then you're trying to make sync work like connection. But if like somebody say, okay, Mikhail, take your body weight and just go to the partner. So instead of in the hands only, we have connection in our center, like right side to right side. Let's go, and we go right side to right side, and this is where couple start to dance. I will just walk. Yes? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? So I'm using my body connecting to her, sending signal from my center, from my center to her, and she reply me back. To her, reply me back okay of course we have a connection in the hands as well we will talk a little bit later we can also communicate with the hands like we can we can really to make a little bit softer smoother or maybe sharp and sharp and sharp like like we dancing tango okay so the question is so if we have in latin of course in latin we can also have a like we can also have a connection like like even social dance uh, Bachata. Um, or like salsa can be very, very intimate, close connection. But this is connection, it, it didn't go, we didn't create as a one piece move, moving around. It's more like around each other. So we're like melting with each other. But we're not uh, connecting body weight to each other. Does it make sense? So now, uh, while we... Do you have any problems with the connection? We're talking about the borum now today. Please type your comment. Uh, what kind of uh, did you ever experience problem with connection? If yes, then what connection? And I, uh, while you're replying, I will draw the picture for you, and then we can really see what is going on. Yes. 
Okay. Today I have my black marker. Do you think blue is better? I think so, yes. Blue okay. should be fine. Yeah. So now let me just bring it back. Uh, now please reply. Uh, let me know, do you have any difficulty with connection? If yes, then what connection? Mm -hmm. What connection? All right. No practice connection. Well done. Mirror image. Okay. Um, we, will, we will wait for a few more while, while Alicia, do you want to say something while I'm drawing? <laughs> yeah. We can all watch how you're drawing, actually. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, I'm sure you, maybe you don't have a like big problem, but I'm sure you have some issues or some questions while you practice with your partner in the studio or maybe in the composition. And please type it. And it's always for us, it's so nice to share our uh, knowledge with you and help you to solve your questions, your problems, or miscommunication with your partners. So don't be shy. To be honest, uh, we all down. have a. We, we all pass. We pass with Alessio Struzzi. We all have, of course, of course. We're all humans. Yes. And we all have some misunderstanding, miscommunication between uh, partners. Yeah. And I think we have a question. Mm -hmm. Alice, can you read and it first? And it's a question from Andrea. How should body connection with uh, fatter bodies be? Okay, uh, <laughs> could we go... Because pressure become <laughs> buffering by well fats. <laughs> okay, uh, Andrea, is it is it the problem or, or <laughs> this is the <a> solution? <laughs> How the... <laughs> The connection will be still the same, guys. It doesn't matter what is your body type. So, connection will can, be uh, the same. Okay, uh, <laughs> we can talk good about evening. the high Good evening, relationship. everyone who is joining us. <laughs> so, the couple, uh, the height is different. Yes, we can talk here about different variation how we can connect. But, uh, Andre, you have uh, really uh, <laughs> funny questions. <laughs> And he's replying now, it's a problem, ha ha. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. You okay. have always very nice questions. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Mikhail is okay. done All with right. his beautiful drawing pictures. Now, I really highly high suggest for all of you to take a picture of this because this is, was a breakthrough in my career. And, and I remember um, this is a very, very good level and high level of the connection to understanding. Okay? I'm talking about the borrow. So now let's go, let's, let's see. Let's in just now we spoke, we have a connection in the hand. So here we have a very good connection and of course we can communicate with each other through the eyes. Can you see? I think it's just a little, we need to move, yes, here. All right? Okay, okay. All right, so uh, please keep writing the question. We will go through every question. Now, uh, of course, look, th the thing is, let me pick up a different color. You see, men have his own body weight, of course, and lady have his own body weight. But most of the body weight, it goes down, down. You see here? What I'm drawing for you, I wish I will know many years ago. Okay? okay? Now, let's go back to the borum. In a borum, we have a connection with the three parts of the body, ideal, okay? I'm talking about, um, about way I'm dancing and uh, with all our coaches which we go through, yes? It's our personal opinion. It's, uh, if it's work for you, please do it. If not, just, I mean, just uh, please forget this information. But this is completely uh, the game changer, okay? I remember when I started to do this and we started to do, like, with, uh, uh, with the great coaches, is our level is completely, completely uh, went up there. So now, we have knee, we have hip, and we have a ribcage. 
So, uh, of course, like some people dancing more ribcage connection and less a hip. I'm not talking that it must be equal. It can be very, very different, different connections. Yeah, it can be, let's say, here can be 50%, uh, here can be maybe 30%, and here can be 20, okay? The total we have 100, okay? Clear? So... Uh, but I'm not talking about we're going really high level, but I want that you understand, look, the body weight of the man and body weight of the lady, it's completely different. You see here we go down to the ground, to the ground. But you see what happened here, our body weight here goes towards each other and then stay outside, to, you see? So we're creating, okay, I will draw a little bit bigger, okay, so, so you will understand, okay? So we go this kind of body weight connection. So we, we go towards each other where we're meeting, we're meeting in our hip here, this is our hip connection, and this is where we create one piece. So our body weight goes through each other and go down to the floor or opposite from the floor towards each other and up. Okay? So hip is becoming like foundation for us to 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 create connection. First connection is coming, I mean the way we're doing and, and the way many couple dancing in the world and and most of the uh, the top couples it goes, um, like some of them are going from a knee and go up to the hip and rib cage, so you can replicate it, yes? We, you can replicate a great level. And some of them are going from a rib down. It's, it depends which style of dancing do you choose, yeah? And now it's very, very important. Look at this. This is a man. We all have a curves, one and curves two. You see, a man is still have a curve in order to connect with a couple, okay? So, please take a print screen. It's super important. This, is, this is picture changed my life. Completely changed the way we dance in the whole physics. Okay? All right, so please. Okay. We have a lot of questions. <laughs> I, 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 I love your question. Right, going to promenade down in the uh, in the line of dance. Very good. And turns about the turns as well. Okay, good, good. About the turns means what? During okay. the turns. Okay. So let's go. Now this is number. It's Latin ballroom. Uh, American smooth with both. Yes. So social can be. Here can be there, depends of like social, you can also do with this connection. And uh, trust me, social level with this connection you will enjoy even more. Because that kind of connection, look, the beauty of the ballroom dancing, many people thinking it's just walking with a step, it's not. Let me show you uh, the idea, look. When we start to, look, the beauty that, look, I'm as a man, she is as a lady. I'm a leader, she's a follower. Communication coming through the knee, hip, and the rib cage. The main part, I'm not going to talk about each, each separately. I will talk about center as the main one, so it will be get easier. Look, I, I feel so cool that I can send her my signal to shape or to change. So my job not to do... Take your hands and drive here with the hands. Hands, it's like beautiful piece of saloon of the car. Engine is driving. Whoa, let's go, which is triggering shaping of the lady and shaping of the lady and shaping of the lady. So connection playing is a big part of our enjoyment and it's bring art on completely different level compared to the Latin. Latin we have a diff different kind of art and in the ballroom we, we always, it's so cool without hands, Alessia can you come here, look without hands, I send yeah, whoa, whoop, whoop, and we go promenade, contra promenade, 
Well, you see here, and promenade, and swivel, whoop, look at this. I, all my signal, I send it to her, okay? So, we will go to the question. Now, you see, Borum, it's very important, we're connecting from two bodies, one. Make sense? In order to connect from two bodies, one, we need to use body weight. Otherwise, we can't. If you go back to the Latin position, and then I show you the biggest problem. Latin, they can still close together. Yes? But you see body weight is not connecting. Let me tell you, let me show you Latin position, Alice. Can you come here? Mm -hmm. So look. If we can close to each other, look. When we're not connecting now. And then if we will dance in this position, we will pull and push each other. Because we're not connecting two bodies weight and one. We're standing next to each other. Make sense? This is where you can easily disconnect during your dance, during your turns. And this is where it becomes, you pull me, you push me, da 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 Now, in order to connect body weight, look. This one, let me draw not correct one first. One. One body with the feet here, and another body with the feet here. You see two heads, and, and, and we're holding each other. Okay? We even can connect here, but it's still, look, separate weight. Can you see it? And hands is just doing this. In, 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 in. Okay? Now, do, 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 let's move here. My job, look, to create C shapes in the both partners. What does it mean C shape? Look at this. I have a C shape here and C shape there. Just remember, if we don't have a C shapes, we can't dance with each other. Number one, because we will, uh, we will attack. In normal walking, we're doing this way, yes? We always walk with the head forward. So if we will not do the C shape, we will attack with the rib cage like this. This is a, a, again coming the, uh, the pull and push. Then, C shape helping us to create space for each other. So look, we're creating space for each other. Okay? And this is where, guys, please remember, you have to have that C shape. You can't... Please understand a vertical line. Vertical line cannot be like this vertical line completely. It has to be a little C shape in order to, 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 to connect with the lady and give her the signal from the center. Okay? And now, basically what we do, we come here and we, we will use some piece of wall in order to practice. Okay? So how to practice it? Find a wall, please. Find a wall. Find a wall. So we will go here. We go to the mirror? Yeah. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. and a now, down. I will come to the mirror so you can see my, uh, my reflection as well. I want to come to the mirror. I go one, two, and now my job, in order to practice this connection, first I need to do myself first. Remember, I very high, high uh, like strong believer into the privacy practice. Because I can see progress for three and a half months, huge progress for the student who training many, many years. Because when we're doing ourselves and we're using leverage of the items in our flat, it's the biggest improvement. So now, Alice, can you make my feet low? Yes, so uh, everyone can see my feet. Yeah, maybe we can move backward. Okay? So we come. Now, as an exercise, I, I, I'm connecting my knee. I keep few inches from a, from a wall, connect knee, hip, rib cage, and now I relax. But very important while I'm doing it, look, my head stay in one line with my heel. So, and then I go whoop, and look, I'm automatically created C shape. You see here? So, and now I can put my Guy, guy position, I don't have a space here. And ladies, of course, ladies, if she will dance a little bit, it may not work. So ladies doing this. So we do the same action, girls, but we 
in order to create a bigger shape backwards we also need to create a little bit more space for our feet so the space between feet and the wall so it's not too close we have about 20 centimeters from the wall then we bring our knees forward our hip and our rib cage and from here we're balancing and you with see our hat. this is where ladies creating beautiful c shape so look your c shape and my 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 c shape is different my is more upright this is where vertical coming now when we go back to each other now I'm the wall. Imagine I'm the wall. The wall is between us. <laughs> and now we go right to right side, go right to right side, connecting knee, hip, rib cage. And now from here, yes, we are expanding. Very good. Now you see, I have my C shape, but it looks vertical, and she has a C shape. And now look, we connecting two body ways, we're leaning on each other. Where it starts from a knee, hip, and rib cage. This is how we connect our two bodies. Look. And then the best practice, walk, walk without the hands first. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Example, if we're doing the walls, okay? So do you want to go to the question first? I think, yeah, okay. we have a lot of questions, and the question is good to, for everyone yes, good. to reply I and to I, share the... We will try to cover as, as maximum as we can. Yes, let's go to the question number one right, right away. One. Okay. Okay. So the first question yes. about just, uh, tick, 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 tick. just bring on the screen, please. Okay. Uh, so doing turns, impetus going around the partner, keeping hip out of the partner's way to make the turns and uh, and corner smooth. Uh, I, I hope I understand the question, Michelle. It's uh, during the turns. Yes, it's a difficulty, right? Going around the partner and keeping hip out of the partner's way to make the turns. Okay, very good. Michelle, I just want to go to the first stage of learning. Um, during the turns, of course, we can't always push. Okay, we need to have a weight connection. And it can move from a knee to the hip, rib cage, and, and like this, yes? So, during the turns is difficulty. Why? Because we used to turn. In normal life, we never walk like this on the street. We never turn like this on the street. So, the difficulty could be because we, uh, while we're dancing ballroom, basically we're relearning the whole physics, and that's why we experience difficulty. But no worry, today we'll have a solution, okay? <laughs> and I hope you will practice with a new connection. So next question, we go to the Ronnie. Uh, connection at the waist uh, uh, to disconnect easy, why is so? Okay, Ronnie is exactly the same. Because look, when we living our lives, we're always walking and we're independent. Even if we're husband and wife, I mean, we never, walk, we never walk like this together on the street. Yes, in a promenade position. So that's why we so get used to, to dance on our own. So it's become very challenging for us to connect together. Even if you understand it, body need the time to get into the muscle memory. Okay? So... We will go today, just a few exercises to show you, okay? Hello, Mario. Um, going into promenade down the line of dance, okay. Uh, very good question. Uh, I, I mean, it's not a question, it's like difficulty, because look, during promenade, we're just changing, shifting connection from one side to another corner. Richard Gleef, eight-time world champion, discovered we have a type of the shifting connection. It's we can go promenade, Contra promenade, and uh, we will not cover it today because it's really amazing. Because otherwise, we will go for the hours and hours with you. I would love to. I just <laughs> we just have have like a break it up for the everyone. Okay. Then um, from Jade, connection with the partner never a problem, but maintaining the space between us has a problem. Well done. Yes. Uh, Connection is not, but look, in order to maintain a space, we need to understand. While we're going through the connection, 
we need to maintain proportions because proportions even look Mia, Michelle this is real. even when we turn it has to be maintained head need to be stay opposite from each other right side to right side then it will be easy to maintain so by using our connection here and here we can use it by pressing and open it in a very very beautiful shape this is how you can leverage our center it's not only must it's so comfortable to do so okay yes and it's easier to maintain the space between each other because you really like pushing and then you're opening the space I guess maybe you can come to the camera and then I will read, yeah. Okay. So, uh, for, from Michelle we have, in standard when doing a heel turn or completing it's correctly into the follow, follow through step. Yes, good. Heel turn, very good. Michelle, the question. When we do the heel turn, look, in order to connect our knees, right, we need to make it flex. So the question, do we need to do heel turn with a straight knees or flex knee, okay? <laughs> it will right away reply, look, I can do my, my, my heel turn with a flex knee and keep maintaining connection. Okay? All right. So, mm -hmm. um, from Jade, we have doing pivot turn, we have problem uh, or, or spin turn, exactly the same thing as we, as we talk with you. Yes. Connection in a quick step and a running step exactly the same. Exactly the same. It just depends on the speed of the movement. Then um, fr from Jade again, um, connection with a partner and replicate him to rise and fall can sometimes break in a connection. Is it due to musicality difference? No, it's not. It's connection. Yes. Because conne it doesn't matter what is the music. It doesn't matter what is the fast or slow. It's very important that I dancing with Alessa and Alessa dancing with me. We're not trying to do signs of, okay, I'm ready. Now I go and I dance my part. Of course, I dancing my technique, but the main thing why we're dancing together is because we, we, we're dancing ballroom dancing. We're not dancing Latin dance. And Latin dance is okay. She can be like, whoa. One, two, da 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 I can do it even with the kicks, it's up to me. Yes? Now, how we, from Andrea, how do we, how we determine who needs to make the bigger C shape? Andrea, very good question, uh, is, depends on the high relationship. If, let's say, for my height with Alessa, she needs to do bigger shape, C shape in order, and for me, I need to stay more up, upright to counterbalance it. If she will be really short, it's actually, is, is determined how much, first of all, it start, if you never done it, with a little bit of the knees. You start a little, more experience you become, you can do more, more, more and more. Yes? Okay? When you talk about knees, is it more the, knee tights or the knee caps? Very good question. Yes, it is. It is more, it's, uh, when I talk about the knee, I'm talking about bending the knee. And bending in a way where my knee goes forward. And of course, thighs activating after this, okay? I think we need to bring the camera a little lower. And we go, okay, we have a last question. Okay, good. So, now let's go back to our slide. Uh, we now talk about main, uh, main dance connection. Now we go very quick the types of the connection. And then we will cover together the point of the connection. Because it's very, it's affect everything. Just remember, everything affect everything. The, your height, your, that's why there is no, I can't tell you, for example, for right away okay this one will works for you this one will works for you I just need to see you first I need to see what is your muscle memory how do you connect with each other how do you because look in order to dance with this connection need the body trust that feelings in order to trust we need at least walk with uh, with a simple simple uh, exercise like walking 
Mm -hmm. I always believe in walking. Let me switch it back. So, first connection we have, look, I'm dancing in a body. It's my knee, hip, and the rib cage. You may ask, Mikhail, how about big shape? No problem. Look, knee, hip, rib cage. And now, look, I'm using my connection wall. I'm using it as a leverage to drive, to, to lead her, and she respond on me. Right, Alicia? Yes. Okay. I am. <laughs> then, so we have a main connection with it. In the hip is our engine. We have a knees, which is our sway and swing tool together with the hip. Yeah, because hip joints is responding to the. And we have a here, rib cage, which is create all like musicality. It can be knee, hip, rib. And if you remember, one of the. We talk about rhythm, like Constanta and other saying, like impulse and pack. It's all creating from, from a hip to the, to the ribs. Now, we will not go too deep. Just remember knee, hip, rib cage. Now, hand, hands connecting, my hand connecting. My wrist connecting with the armpit of the lady, like that, and now very nicely closing to her back. Yeah, shoulder stretching from a yes. Now, I lay the hands. This is two finger one and two. You can find a muscle here. You see here the muscle, everyone. You can slide. You can slide and, and look. <laughs> this is where, ladies, we can't have a lot. It's a little squeezing. You like squeezing? Look, squeeze, squeeze, and pull, pull. We are. So now warp and squeeze and pull. So this is how we create our hand connection. Now this hand, they have a few different, like, like some of them connecting this way, some of them connecting that way. Some of them connecting th that way, uh, uh, or like... Uh, <laughs> no, 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 like yeah. this probably not. <laughs> yes, no, no, no. Uh, I, I prefer to connect in this way, personally, because when we're connecting in this way, it's very easy to activate the shoulder. It's very easy to pull and push. In this connection, it's very easy to do it. It's become like a wall between our hands. Yeah. So we have my side and his side. So it's here, we're connecting this part. And this one, we connect to each other, here first, and then here second, and then I lay the close finger between my bones here, and then I close, like, wave down here. Whoop. Again, it's, you see here, like a guitar. Whoop. And my, my finger pointing down. So, now remember, let's, let's count together. Knee, one, hip, two, rib cage, what? Three. Now, hand, four. Her hand, five. And our hand, six. Six point of the connect. Of course, look, I... Um, we can count in different yes, ways. Yes, we can <laughs> count in different ways. I'm not requesting you count. Why I'm counting? Because, look, of course, we can have one... Two, three, we can have five points. But look, I, I really like to count knee as well, personally, because knee play a big role in our sway, sway and swing when we're moving. And we're really moving. And yeah, and if we're dancing quick step, whoa, knee playing a very big role. Okay? So, we have a very little time left, but let me speak with you about how to practice both connections. Now look, I tell you honestly, direct forward, it's very tough. Why? Because in our normal life, when we, if you're starting dancing now, please remember, if you're, if you're already dancing for a long time, just please look at this and, and start to do this practice. Because I relearn it after 10 years of my dancing, completely relearn everything. So now, when we're moving, our knee, all these go, almost always go on a straight position. I mean, on a straight knee. So we almost like straighten up. 
In the ballroom, what happened when we straighten up the knees? When we straighten up the knees, uh, I will be very bold to say that in the ballroom we don't have a straight knee connection, except you for the troll away and like some lines, yes, or the kicks, yeah. And because look, if I have my my straight knee connection, push me. And no matter what, if I will be 10 time world champion or, or like 15, it doesn't matter how strong I am, unless you can push me. Because look, it's a, there is no suspension, yes? So there is no, there is no uh, some kind of leverage to push back. But look, if I do this, if I flexing a little bit my knee, go. I, I can resist, yes? And, and the same thing in the ballroom. If I have all this, even when I go up, I'm making my knee, one of the exercises will be like this. When you go up, you keep flexing your knee like this. You go whoop, you're still working and you go up, but you're working like a scoop under with the knees. Yes? So, number two, we need to make sure that we feel comfortable with the knee. I really highly suggest while you're at home now, or like maybe like in the studio, try to walk whole walk routine. Please don't do rise and fall yet. Just walk and feel like you can do it with a really flexed knee. Or just just walk basic with the knee in order to feel that it, it's a feelings like you're going like this. Like very, very, uh, very strange feelings. Okay? One more thing, very good exercise. You're flexing your knee and you move your knee sideways. One, two, where your head stays on one place. One, two, so this is, will be all your rising fall as well, or all your down, down position, yes? So, and when, look, one, and you can change your knee. So, number one, down, 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 down. Number two, you go with the knee up, with the knee up, with the knee up, with the knee up. Okay, and when you pra if you have a chance to practice together, it's good. If not, I want that you take a pillow. And what I'm gonna do it, I I I I'm gonna go through three types of the connection. My knee, I'm gonna hold, and I will feel that I'm pushing my knees, knees, and you can place one knee, knee, knee. Knee. Second thing, I will move from my, because look, if you don't feel anything in front of you, it's very difficult to learn. Please use this opportunity while you're at home, you have amazing opportunity to learn. Then I move to my hip and my, uh, my right side, then I push a pillow, I push a pillow, I dance just basic, okay? Then I move to my right side under the ribs, then I go one, I push the pillow. I push the pillow, I push the pillow, do the very, and then I try to do it, Alessia, can you hold it? Three of them, one, two, three, one, two, e, one, two, I can do one, two, three, one. So the feelings like my knee always have a suspension, okay, clear? So this kind of, if we never know how to practice ourselves, we're not able to do with a partner, trust me. And if you have your partner with you, it's not a good solution until you try yourself. Look, I remember the time in my career, I think it was uh, after many, uh, many years of dancing, uh, I'm dancing competitively 28, and I remember it was a time when I realized we always quarrel with each other. And I change a lot of partners, I have like, Every week I have like change partners. I said, what's wrong with those partners? And then I realized like, oh my God, it's really very good. Like I, can't, I cannot find a good partner. And then I realized later on with my coach that Mikhail, I think his problem is something in a different way. And I realized that I actually, I'm the one who I'm trying to expect something from partners, not from, not, not from Malaysia, without doing something which is, I know that I'm doing right. And um, some people say that the COVID situation, yeah, it's terrible, it's really um, not nice situation, really uh, like a lot of people sick, but look, I do believe this is, if you can use it as your advantage of the practice, don't go, don't try to see, oh, my partner, I want to go, of course you will go. Use this time, take it for yourself 
to dance with connection, to dance, to feel it, to observe, feel accountable. Okay, what it takes to feel connection. Okay, good. Now I connect with the wall, I'm replicate. Play something on your knees, play something on your hip, play something here. And then, once you want to do it with your partner, do exactly the same thing. Look, I'm connecting. I am leaving a C shape. I connect C shape. I connect C shape. But don't go to your routine yet. Do a simple step. Do this. And very important, don't try to put a hold. Stage number one, walk. Walk. And look, walk and try just to connect knee. I suggest don't, don't do rising fall first. Then, once you get comfortable, then go to the rising fall and then go to the proper hold. Okay? It's connection, very easy to practice. If you can stay with the wall for two or three minutes like this, and you, you will get used to it after a while. Do it every day, you will have a great result. And when you come to the studio, for you, it will not be so difficult to do. And look, during the turn, many, uh, many of you ask me about the turn. I'm using this connection, look, I go, go, woo, go outside, woo. We're using, and look, we're using moving our head away from connection. This is how we feel that contrabalance. So we're using our hip, so I can feel that I need to stay there. I push you there, and I leave my head there. Woo, one, two, three. So without connection, we actually can't do the turns. Wow, <laughs> boom, wow, it makes sense because if we don't feel anything, we need to turn around each other, we need to use each other's body to turn. She goes, I go around her, so we use a connection, she, me, she, me, she, me, and then so on, so on, so on, okay, so. All right, so we, and we're coming now to the end. Let's do the summarize. Let's uh, switch on the uh, topic. How to create couple connection right from beginning without questioning of being right, pushing and pulling each other. I very highly suggest don't think whether it's right or wrong. Feel that you need to connect your body weight first and feel that your body weight uh, you all body weight from a knee, hip, ribcage, you connect into the wall. And, and just try to do some exercise which we give you so it will give you different sense of the physics. We have a different type of, of the connection. Personal, on, our, uh, on our personal opinion, we have a knee, hip, ribcage, which is creates knee, hip, ribcage three, and in the hands we have another three. Yes, we have a knee, go, knee, hip, rib cage, then my, my hand towards her, her hand to, on, on the top of mine, and we have this connection connecting here. Now, points of the connection is, uh, we can speak also about artistic connection. We can t uh, speak about uh, like, eye connection. Like <laughs> eye connection. Yes, we can go a little bit higher level, but I think uh, we, may, we may need to to slow down here so you will absorb information and one day if you're interesting write your comments we may go to the to the higher level and and remember last thing what uh, what what I want to tell you remember that a different connection brings different uh, results if we go to Latin it's this one Latin or where body weight goes down but he is, is very important thing. We're connecting all this body weight together. Okay? So, thank you very much for being with us. We are really glad that we have a chance for this time to do it for you. We feel really connecting that, uh, that we're able to share with you knowledge. Because, like some, uh, you, uh, please pass this information to your students. Pass this is information it's we collecting for ourselves or uh, it's from uh, top coaches in the world use it and if you have any question please reach us out and for the time being please 
if you if you really like this kind of information and you want us to stay to stay with you and continue this is webinars please like uh, like our page just to put like and and then subscribe to our page so you will you will continue to receive notification when we go on online and very important you will not miss the, the important information this is information it's really it's unbelievable i really look at it i wish i will know when i was young <laughs> and remember no when i was kids i will be the world champion <laughs> many many years ago if i knew that and remember practicing privacy feel that you're practicing with uh, yourself first feel connection with your um with your floor it can be carpet as well feel connection with the music feel connection in your body by the way remember go back to this reconnection you can use your body as one two three incorporate into your walking by yourself trust me if you do it yourself in a studio will be connecting like this okay so please grow please learn stay positive because world need the positivity now with you was dancing socially with m and o <laughs> michael and alessia and until we'll see you next next time and now let's stand up everyone and do our bow together and one two three four five six seven eight thank you very much we love you and have a good night, morning and afternoon. Thank you guys. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Welcome back to First Look Asia on this Tuesday morning. Now Ben and I like to go out and film a TV feature together. The last time was the health screening we both did. Mm -hmm. This time around, we decided to go dancing, ballroom dancing to be precise. Ballroom dancing is enjoyed by millions around the world. Ballroom dancing is a fairly broad term. It incorporates a whole bunch of dances, including the modern waltz. Hey, the Viennese waltz. Tango, Foxtrot, Quickset, Cha Cha Cha, Samba, Rumba, Paso Doble, and Jive. Well, enough talking. It's time to get some dancing organized, or as they say, cut her up. <laughs> Let's go and meet our dance partners. So, waltz is a swing dance, it's like flying. The step, I show you one, two. Very nice. One, it's very light two. feeling, right? It is, yeah. It's it's like you. One. Now we can turn a little bit <laughs> and go back and change. Go forward. Yes. Well done. You're doing very well. <laughs> Mikhail Yeremev, Teresa's teacher, has been dancing since he was seven years old. It's so much a part of him that even his wife Alessia is his dance partner. She gone through the club looking for a good time. Gonna make First of all, for me, it's, uh, it's my lifestyle. I really love to spend a quality time together with my wife uh, because we, we're enjoying dancing and we're dancing more than 10 years together. And, and I like to, uh, to inspire people. Ballroom dancing is so beautiful, it's so expressive. Be honest, how did I do? Oh, you did a very good job. I like <laughs> the way you feel the way the, yeah, you feel the music. I was feeling the music. Yes. Yes. So I'm the Teresa, uh, she, I mean, she's feel the music very well, uh, and once she start to relax, she start to enjoy it. Lance, I've been waiting so long for this day, and it's over, and it was just as wonderful as I thought it would be. It's I, such a great experience. It's a fantastic experience. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I enjoyed it on the social level because I made a whole bunch of new friends. Mm -hmm. I also enjoyed it as a sport because it's, it's quite a workout too. Yes, you had quite the moves. I think <laughs> we did okay, but we should leave it to the professionals. Absolutely, we've got Mikel and Olesia to take us through the waltz. Enjoy it. <laughs> 